550 of us have gone to space since cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the first human to do it in 1961. Mark Vandehey is about to become part of an even smaller group of humans who've gone to space more than once. After a career in the Army, Vandehey joined NASA and flew to the International Space Station back in 2017. He spent nearly six months there and logged four spacewalks. Vandehey is headed back next month and says he himself is one of the many experiments that scientists will study on this trip. I lost 7% of my bone density on my previous flight and I was able to get it all back. So learning how to better maintain bone density has, has benefits not just for space exploration, but also for uh, people on Earth today. Well, here's how the station looks from Earth. A Russian film crew might fly there later this year. And if it does, Van de Hey is scheduled to give up his return seat so that the Russians can get their crew back. In that case, he'll end up spending a year in space. Van de Hey laid out the psychological impact of that in terms of now familiar to most of us. I do think uh, the response we've had to take to COVID to isolate ourselves more does get you closer to feel like what it's like being on a, on a space station where you don't get to interact with people as much. If Van de Hey stays for a year, he'll beat the current American record notched by Scott Kelly when he spent 340 days out there. This launch set for April the 9th two weeks from Friday. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.